number 15 a train starts from rest and moves with a constant acceleration 2 meter per second square for half a minute we'll convert it into second because the acceleration is in meter per second square the brakes are then applied and the train comes to rest in one minute we need to find the total distance by the train maximum speed attained by the train the position of the train at half the maximum speed let's do it one at a time so if it starts from the rest the initial velocity is zero u equal to, let's write down whatever information we have u is equal to zero constant acceleration acceleration is given as 2 meter per second square and first it let's look at the first 30 seconds and we need to find that the total distance traveled by the, so the, the acceleration will be maximum just after this 30 seconds so let's do the part B first V is equal to U plus A T and initial velocity is 0 acceleration is 2 meter per second square multiplied by 30 this is going to be 60 meter per second that is the answer to part number b and then uh, the, the brakes are then applied the train comes to rest in one minute so next for so part number part a we need to find the time taken to come from v is equal to u plus a t so let us say after uh, first 30 second when its speed is 60 meter per second per second we apply the brake and then the final velocity becomes zero initial velocity is 60 meter per second square and we do not know the acceleration and it takes one minute or 60 second that means the acceleration is minus one meter per second square so we need to find out the total distance travel so uh, the total distance moved by the train the total distance let us calculate the s1 plus and then s2 s1 is ut plus half a t square and this we can find it u t is zero so we have half acceleration is two meter per second square multiplied by time square is 30 into 30 or 900 meter so this is s1 and we can find s2 as u t so we will at the peak acceleration peak velocity was 60 meter per second 60 and then the time taken was one minute to so 60 into 60 minus half acceleration of one into t square by 60 into 60 so this will become 60 into 30 is equal to 1800 meter so the total distance will be s1 plus s2 is equal to 2700 meter let's check this is the part number a and this is part number b let's verify the answers before we move on to the next one so the answer is question number 15 here 2.7 kilometer and 60 meter per second so 60 meter per second we had the right answer part b and 2.7 kilometer and this one will be equal to 2.7 kilometer and let's now move on to part number c the position of the train at half the maximum speed so the maximum speed is 60 meter per second and we need to find out the position at half the maximum speed so so let's let's call it this final speed as v and the initial speed is half of uh, Let's call the, the our final speed v is half of the initial of the, the maximum speed and that will be 30 meter per second and we need to find out s during when the speed reaches to 30 meter per second 
So we use the formula v square is equal to u square plus 2as. And final speed is 30 meter per second. So this becomes 900 is equal to u is 0 plus 2 acceleration is 2 and s we need to find out. So s becomes equal to 900 divided by 4 and this will be equal to 4 into 2, 8, 1, 0, 4 into 2, 8, 2, 0, 225 meter. So that is our answer to part C. Um, part C also has another part. The position of the train, the positions of the train, now there are two positions of the train at half the maximum speed. So what happens if you look at the graph, the initially if you, this is velocity graph, it reaches to maximum speed 60 meter per second and then it, it, it starts going down like this. This is the time axis. So, the, so at one point of time, this is the this is the position at 30. This is the velocity at th as 30 meter per second. So it reaches one one here, and then we can find out its distance also using this graph. And this is what we have found it here using this formula of 225 meter. Now there is another position here, and we need are required to find out this whole area of this graph. So let us find out what time it takes. For example, in this one, the time taken is uh, 30 seconds. So let us find out what is this time when it re the speed reaches from 60 to 30. So for that, we use the formula V is equal to U plus AT. For thir 30 is equal to 60 minus and acceleration in this portion we know is minus 1 into t. This implies t will be equal to 60 minus 30 or 30. So this distance is 30. Now we need to find out this area plus this area. So let us say this area. This area is going to be total distance s is the area of part 1 plus maybe this part 2 maybe part 3. So the total distance will be let us say look at this area. This area is going to be half into 30 into 60. So this is 900. Plus this area 2 is half into this is 30 and this is 30. 60 minus 30 is 30. Plus this rectangle is 30 into this 30. So this is 30. This is uh, 15 and this is 30. So 30 into 30 is 900 plus this is 450 plus 900. This is 27. 1800 plus 450. 2250 meters. Let's check our answer. Hopefully it is good. Uh, let's see answer. And this is that. It is 2.25 kilometer to the match the answer.